right. Uh, all right. All right. All right, guys. Well, welcome to the first ever episode of Your Hockey Team Sucks, and uh, let's jump right into it. Who are we talking about today? Flyers. The Philadelphia. We're we're Flyers. talking Philly today, and man, you guys had a lot to say. So we'll jump right into it. Uh, one of the common themes here. We'll go with Ian Ooh. Hockey, 2003. Uh, and this is this is one we hear a lot about the Flyers, uh, one of the most disrespectful and toxic fan bases in the NHL. The Flyers are known for their awful fans who have disrespected themselves and their team. So while I'll give you that, that the the Flyers uh, Flyers fans can be a little aggressive at times. I think people tend to just lump all the teams, Philadelphia teams, together on that one. Look, the, the truth is they're just passionate. They're not all jokes. Move it! Come on! God! Just, uh, okay, he didn't, dude, he did not signal. I mean, you know, when you're talking about a fan base, like passion manifests itself in a lot of different ways. And, you know, depending on your, like, so we're on the East Coast of America, all right, which is a very aggressive, angry area of the country. So it's not just Flyers fans, although I will admit that, like, Eagles, Flyers, Phillies, Sixers fans, I mean, we can be a little bit extra. But, you know, for the most part, most of the teams on the East Coast are like that. You know, when you get to Midwest and California, they tend to be a little bit more laid back. They show their passion in other ways. For example, Minnesota fans love to donate to charity. Noble. We like to... Throw beer cans. Yes, and batteries, and beat up, you know, popular holiday time figures. So while we're waiting for smoothies, uh, Luke <laughs> Riley says, Flyers need to develop a goalie and stop getting these old guys off of FA or trades. Mrazic doesn't count, apparently. I don't even know where to start with that one, do you? Uh, everything that he said is wrong. Uh, goaltending, both the starting goaltenders for the team are hurt. Mrazek is a temporary yeah. uh, option. We have we have Connor Hart, who just won the gold medal for Canada, talk about developing goalies. As long as they don't trade him away. Yeah, true. Smooth time. Hey, buddy, thank you, that's the moon. There's the, okay, there we go. Try your smoothie. Is it? Thank you, sir. Okay, yep, you too, man. So, the goaltending narrative is one that's been around for a long time with Philadelphia, and it's probably fair. Um, we had two of the greatest goaltenders in the history of the game, and Bernie Perrant and Ron Hextall, who is now our GM. And then um, after Pelly Lindbergh died, just a string of tough decisions, tough goalies, situations that did not work out. I think they've done pretty well. I mean, Michael Layton almost won a Stanley Cup, so. We don't talk about that. I think it's important to mention while we're still on the road that we are attaching a major giveaway to this video. So many. So many giveaways, lots of green biscuits here. So all you gotta do is click the link it's accompanied by this video wherever you see it, and you can enter it. Should we should we mention the fact that we're miles, like just a mile away from Philadelphia right now? No, no, we shouldn't tell them that we live in Philadelphia and may no. or may not be Flyers yeah, fans. That would make us biased. That would make us very biased. Uh, this is an unbiased hockey it's show. Not completely unbiased. Hey, did you know the Eagles won the Super Bowl? Which one, 52? Yeah, 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 yeah. they won it. They won, they won it they won against, against the Patriots. Pats. With a backup quarterback. Yeah, Nick Foles. Against one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Foles! All right, so this one's from McRobbie34. Uh, the whole city of Philadelphia is dirty, including the fans. The people are crappy. They crap talk on Calgary oh so much last year for getting swept after having a 10-game win streak when they had the same amount and missed the playoffs. Mm. Their whole team is basically two players. We'll start with the city of Philadelphia in one minute. Lee, I'll be right back. Where are you going? I'll be right back. You know, Lee, I've been thinking a lot about it, and you know what? He, he's right. This is a... Uh, a horrible, horrible, dirty, dirty city. What do you uh, got there? I got you uh, cinnamon, cinnamon uh, butter, and uh, I got spicy brown mustard, and the most delicious pretzels in the entire world. Philadelphia soft pretzels, amazing. Ooh, look at that. They're so oh my good. god, they're they're, hey, they're all soft. Hey. They're even better with mustard. Oh my god. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> so bad. There's so much horseradish. Oh, what oh. is that? Uh, you know what? He's right. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this city sucks. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm, I'm crying. <laughs> there's, there's so much horseradish. It's karma. It's karma. I'm going to take another bite. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel it in my nose and my sinuses. I hope that was all legit caught. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was. Oh, my God. I'm crying. Oh my god. I'm crying right now. <laughs> it's, a, it's a hard working city. It's a blue collar city. It's for a sure. blue collar city yeah. and most of the city is is beautiful. I, I love Center City, Philadelphia. It, it's I mean there's bad parts to the city, sure, but that's any city. Philadelphia will always respect a hard working athlete. There are cities out there that love star power, 
among other things. Philadelphia loves a hard worker. That's how a guy like Keith Primo or Bobby Clark or Claude Giroux, and the list continues, are captains in this town and revered athletes, unlike some superstars in other places. And that's not a, that's not a knock at superstars either. That's just the Philadelphia way. You ever smell Manhattan in the summer? It smells like pee. Monkey25 says, Claude Giroux is no longer the superstar he once was. Solid player, but hard to contend in the East without someone better. Here's a list of teams in the NHL right now that that do not have a player that has scored more than Claude Giroux this season. In the meantime, try this. Try this butter. Is there one? No, it's a different one. That's delicious. So, all in all, when we asked why the Flyers suck, it seems like we got a lot more just anti-Flyer fans telling us that the Flyers suck, but nothing to really back it up. So. We're gonna do this again. I hope you bring your A game. Let us know why the next team sucks. We wanna know who you think that team should be. So comment below, above, to the side, to the right, whatever social media you're on, and let us know what team we should do next, and we will make it happen for you. So that does it for the first episode of Your Hockey Team Sucks. We wanna thank everyone that got involved in the conversation, and uh, tell us below who you wanna see on the next show. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, get in on the giveaway. Do the giveaway!